welcome to Christ the Free Church's Prayer and Bible Hour, and we are glad you are able to join us today. This is March the 22nd, and we are barreling along into spring. I believe we're in spring now. Wasn't spring mm -hmm. yesterday or yesterday. sometime this week? And uh, uh, so we're uh, excited about that. But uh, glad you can join us today. And <clears throat> we have just finished watching prayercast.com, which is a video prayer ministry for every country in the world. And today our focus is going to be on the country of Austria, which is not a highly uh, um, persecuted place, but they do have a lot of need for prayer there, a lot of need for prayer, which if you watch this video, uh, that will uh, reveal that to you. So we included the link to the video prayer for Austria, and we encourage you to watch that and uh, let that lead you in prayer with your eyes open as together we watch and pray for the spiritual needs in the nation of Austria. Beautiful place, uh, but lots of spiritual need there. Attached to this email, you should find two documents. One is our revised scripture study guide, which we use to help us through our study portion of our morning uh, by, uh, prayer and Bible hour. The other document is a um, revised prayer guide, updated prayer guide for the various uh, items of prayer that we use to, to kind of stimulate our prayer time. We don't pray about everything that's on that list, but we do use it to help remind us of things. And um, I'd encourage you, if you can, to download both of those documents. Um, if you can download the prayer guide and maybe download it to your phone, which is where I like to download mine to, so I always have the prayer guide with me. But if you can download and even print out the scripture study guide, that would be very helpful because it has three main points. And those points allow you to read a little bit, to think about what you read in the Bible, and to jot down some of your own personal thoughts about that. And if you can print it out, it's a lot easier to be able to, uh, to go through that uh, and record your thoughts. So uh, those things are attached to this email. Um, so today we are going to start uh, in our prayer guide, or I'm sorry, with our study guide. And uh, we will be looking at Psalm 25 today. And Psalm 25 verses 7 through 10 specifically. That will be our study portion, verses 7 through 10 of Psalm 25. But in order to get the flow of the text where that, those verses are kind of nestled into, we're going to read the whole chapter of Psalm 25. And in order to get the context of those verses, and the context is what was leading up to those verses and what followed those verses uh, can help us to understand what, uh, what was going on there. So open your Bibles and uh, turn to Psalm 25. And we'll read about four and a half verses each or something like that. Psalm 23. 25. Uh, 25, I'm sorry, yes, thank you. Psalm 25. <laughs> to thee, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in thee I trust. Do not let me be put to shame. Do not let my enemies exult over me. Indeed, none of those who wait for thee will be ashamed. Those who deal treacherously without cause will be ashamed. Make me know thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me. For thou art the God of my salvation. For thee I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, your tender mercies and your loving kindnesses. For they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to your mercy, remember me. For your goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore he teaches sinners in the way. The humble he guides in justice, and the humble he teaches his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth to such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity, <coughs> for it is great. 
Who is the man that fears the Lord? He shall teach. He shall. Oh, him shall he teach in the way he chooses. He himself shall dwell in prosperity, and his descendants shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. 16. Turn yourself to me, and have mercy on me, for I am desolate and afflicted. <clears throat> the troubles of my heart have enlarged. <clears throat> Bring me out of my distresses. Look on my affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Consider my enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. Keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for you. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all their troubles. Very good. So that was Psalm 25. And uh, in the middle of that were the verses 7 through 10 that we'll be looking at. But uh, as point number one on your study guide says, read Psalm 25, which is what we just did. And what are some observations, general themes, or topics in this passage that was mentioned or brought up? So what were some of the things that you know, you folks noticed? In the first three verses, uh, summarized, be not ashamed of of your trust in the Lord. Verses four through six, show me, teach me, and lead me, O Lord. And eleven through fourteen, the Lord teaches and pre prospers, and shows His covenant to those who fear Him. And 15 through 18, plea for deliverance from afflictions and forgiveness of sins. 19 through 22, the plea for deliverance from enemies and statement of trust in the Lord. I think overall the theme of the, of the chapter, David makes a plea for deliverances and he asks for God's forgiveness for the sins of his youth. And I was thinking on that. Apparently, I believe God had already <coughs> answered that prayer and had forgiven him. But apparently David hadn't forgiven himself yet for the mistakes of his youth. Mm -hmm. And he would keep coming back to God and is that not something we often do? Yeah. We're reminded of our <coughs> mistakes and ask God to forgive us again. <laughs> and he already has. But I, 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 I often hear a repetition on this in people's lives. And I've been guilty of that myself. Thinking of a mistake I made. I know God forgave me, but here I am back saying, Lord, forgive me. <laughs> because we realize how awful it is to transgress against our Lord when he's done so much for us. He calls for God's mercy here many times. When you talked about asking, or we at, often ask for forgiveness, I years and years and years ago I got a booklet by Augsburger, the freedom of forgiveness. That book just helped lift me out of that Did it. feeling guilty mm -hmm. every time. I mean, Satan would like you to think on that instead of, sure. uh, and it bogs you down. Mm -hmm. And just recently I bought several more because I feel that a few people would benefit by that. Mm -hmm. David Augsburger wrote yeah. a lot about forgiveness. Yeah. All right, good. <coughs> yes. 
also speaks here of, of the humble mm -hmm. and how he's, uh, he's the instructor, the teacher of the humble. So how important it is for us as Christians to strive to be humble in God's sight. Mm -hmm. And pride is one thing he hates. And, 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 and God will even share his secrets we just had that with the humble. Our study mm -hmm. about pride. Mm -hmm. and, uh, like the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, we had that one where they had the Pharisee and the, and the tax collector. Uh -huh. so, and the tax collector stood far off. Be merciful to me, a sinner. Pharisee was saying, well, look at all the good things I did. Yeah. So he was puffed up. Yeah. The pride, yeah. The thing about pride goes before a fall, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know where that's from, but yeah. <laughs> good, good. Well, uh, if we want to look at verse 7 then, we can, uh, <coughs> point number 2 from the verses below, what are some specific insights or principles or lessons that we can uh, sort of discover and take away, uh, take away with, this, uh, with this lesson? So, um, verse 7, we'll read that again. Verse 7 says, Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. So what is, uh, what is something that, uh, some insight we can glean from that? Well, I have, don't remember my youthful sins. Show your mercy to me, O Lord, for your goodness. So it's, putting it in the, in the hands of God or to, uh, let's say, give God the praise, the glory, you know, uh, by showing mercy to me for your goodness, mm -hmm. for your praise, for your glory. I keep being reminded that I think God had already answered that prayer. Yeah. You know, he had this. This had happened a while back. Yeah, that could be because. Yeah. And yet, humanly we. Humanly we we tend to react like your wife mentioned. You know, there's a, there's something about. Getting to the place where we recognize God has forgiven us. Yeah. Yeah, we can we we will always remember our mistakes, I'm sure. Yeah. But we can remember them in in the in the thought of as forgiven. We God in his mercy forgave me of those things. But we have trouble but we living have, in the sea of forgetfulness. Yes. <laughs> As human beings, we, 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 it's hard to erase that. We need to put up no fishing know. signs. <laughs> no fishing. <laughs> I, had, I had jotted down <clears throat> a sinner's prayer of confession and personal sins. He appeals to the love and goodness of the Lord. <clears throat> verse 8 and 9 together, but I'll read verses 7 through 9. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me. For the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his ways. Well, the Lord instructs sinners and leads and teaches the humble what is right mm -hmm. and God's way. Mm -hmm. 
He'll lead us and cause us to understand what is right. Mm -hmm. My thought was, we can trust the Lord to instruct us in truth and lead us in righteousness. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, so we'll look at verse 10 this time, but we'll read 7 through 10. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore, therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right, and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. Uh, the steadfast love and faithfulness of the Lord are witnessed by those who keep his covenant and testimonies. Steadfast love, steadfast mercy, steadfast truth, it's all there for us. I put down all the ways of the Lord lead us, uh, all the ways the Lord leads us are in accordance with his word and his character. All right, so point number three then, what are some potential effects of the Word of God on our lives from these, through, from these four verses? I picked up the, <coughs> that we need to humble ourselves before the Lord. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord that He may exalt you so in due time. time. Yes. Mm -hmm. I said if we sense our need, His help is available. Some good, uh, some good information out of that as well. Uh, we'll look at Giant Steps, written by Warren Wiersbe, or compiled and edited by Warren Wiersbe. And uh, <coughs> it takes a lot of devotional thoughts from uh, many different uh, um, Bible uh, teachers throughout uh, church history. This is from William Graham Scroggie um, from 1877 to 1958. <clears throat> Trained at Spurgeon's College, London, W. Graham Scroggie climaxed a long and fruitful ministry when he was pastor of the famous Spurgeon's Tabernacle from 1938 to 1944. He was pastor of four other churches, including the historic Charlotte Chapel in Edinburgh, and traveled widely in a Bible teaching ministry. During his 17 years in Edinburgh, he, began, he became widely known as a Bible teacher and preacher of the victorious Christian life. I value the books that Scroggie published. I use them often and I recommend them. He had a gift for analyzing and summarizing large portions of scripture so that you get the bird's eye view before you examine the details. But he did more than analyze scripture. He was a forceful preacher who applied the Word of God to daily life. And the focus here is from Psalm 25, verse 9. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek he will teach his ways. We recognize that it is only as God guides us that we can know what our duty is, which is another way of saying that God guides his people by his Word interpreted and applied by his spirit. If therefore we neglect the Bible, we cannot but remain in ignorance of the divine will. The shrewdest calculation of the keenest foresight can never 
ad be adequate for our supreme need, nor be a substitute for the knowledge of the divine mind. Just because life is related to truth, and the highest revelation of truth is preserved in the scriptures, we must discover from them what is the will of God for us, and having discovered, we must do it with a glad and trustful heart. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. God will not fail on his part, but we may fail on ours. If we listen at all, our ears shall hear a word behind us saying, This is the way, walk ye in it, when we turn to the right hand and when we turn to the left. But if we heed not that voice, we shall continue to wander in perilous bypaths. The mere reader of the scriptures will not give us reading of the scriptures will not give us guidance for the way. We must obediently seek therein for our personal need, the will of God, and this is done by prayer. If we ask, he will answer. But if his guidance of us is to be continuous, our asking must be the reflection of an attitude towards him on our part of full dependence and trust. That's well, interesting. He puts in me instead of humble in both the King James and <clears throat> I assume <clears throat> I assume you're using um, what are you, uh, that's the ESV, oh, ESV. In, in this one here yeah on our study guide yeah so the ESV and King James you both use humble and he uses meek yeah and I, I never thought of it as a synonym it, you know for the mm -hmm. Well, okay, very good. Uh, we can look at uh, our prayer guide uh, to get some uh, reminders for needed prayer. Um, again, Abigail's sister had a car wreck, and uh, Abigail has, uh, has gone to Colorado to be with her for a while. And we will remember that situation. I don't think her sister was badly hurt, but, but uh, anyway, I think Abigail was going to kind of help her get... Stabilized. She alone or? Yeah, probably did. Yeah, oh. I think she. I think she flew out. Oh, she know. flew. I think she did. Probably wants to restore her car too. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Rosie's mom mm -hmm. uh, has stage four cancer and is in a lot of pain, so we want to certainly remember her. It's so nice to see Rosie and her family faithfully coming. Yeah. So nice. yeah. What did you say something about Keith Watson or something? No, he, he's really improved. He's improved, yeah. Okay. They had some, some of his medicine, I guess, was causing some, some of his kidney problems. Yeah. And uh, he got that, seemed to get that kind of straightened out, and he said he's doing much better. Yeah, he said, I don't know if the Lord's uh, going to lengthen my life or not, but I sure feel better. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> and I guess Bev and Sam are facing some family stress yeah. that they requested prayer for. Uh, so prayer for them as well as for Jody. uh, Jody's chemotherapy. That's your daughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. certainly want to pray for our country, for yes. President Biden, Vice President Harris, uh, Governor Shapiro. Uh, continue to uh, pray for God's wisdom uh, for them and all the decisions that they have to make regarding our country. And uh, certainly want to, uh, I guess, President Trump's going through uh, some of those proceedings this week and some legalities and maybe an arrest or whatever. So we want to 
keep that situation in prayer. I was glad that Trump's group that they wanted to, they were fearing would riot, made a decision to spend, have a time of prayer rather than go and do any demonstrating. Yeah. And they all met for prayer, which that wasn't on the news, but yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, Today is going to be a serious day because they're supposed to, they think today that a decision will be made. They were going to try to arrest him, weren't they? Yeah. yeah. And they were, they never <coughs> let go of him. No. Before his president, during his presidency. No. After, because for a runner now, they're going to get rid of him. So. They, they're, they're expecting, yeah, they. Yeah. So we'll keep them in prayer and yeah. certainly keep the situation in Ukraine and Russia in prayer. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. There's Christians on both sides. Yep. The Russian Christians are. Yep. Sure are. Well, uh, again, our uh, country that we're going to be praying for today is Austria. Yes. And um, we uh, watched the video. And again, we encourage you to watch the video link that's in this email. Uh, Reverend Bean was going to read us and some of the, for us, some of the sort of the background of the country and some things that we can pray for. And some of that is in your. Uh, listed in your prayer guide for you as well. It mentions here that Austria has a long, rich history of music and all. And we, of course, most of us are very familiar with that. But the part I want to mainly mention here is even with a modern mindset and a focus on human rights, the Australian people live with high suicide, alcoholism, and abortion rates. The Roman Catholic and Reformed Church are recognized as state churches. Legislation in 1998 restricted religious freedoms in Austria. Three quarters <coughs> of the population are Roman Catholic, but only 9% of the people attend church. That number decreased further after news of sex scandal within the Catholic Church. Hmm. The number of Austrians estimated to have involvement with the occult outnumbers church attendees, hmm. and about 10% of the population claims to have no religion at all. Pray for Austrians to, re to recognize their spiritual emptiness and to be drawn by the Holy Spirit into a genuine relationship with Jesus. And pray for Bible-believing pastors to be located, trained, and adequately supported and pray for a renewal movement among the churches in Austria, most of which are experienced grave decline. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go to prayer. Gracious Lord, we're so thankful that we have this privilege of coming before the very throne of God. In the name of Jesus, our Jesus. intercessor. Grateful, Lord, that we can bring these very special needs to a God who cares. And as we place them in your hands, you would have advised us to cast these cares upon you because you care. And we thank you, Lord, for your care for every situation that we face. Be with our Abigail, we pray, and help her, Lord, as she's there with her sister. And you know all about this wrecked car and all that's needed there. We just lay it all before you and pray, give Abigail wisdom, guidance, and direction in all that she should do. And making decisions that will affect her sister there. Uh, you know all about this, Lord, and pray that the right decisions will be made and help Abigail to be able to know what your will is in all of these matters and continue to strengthen her dad. You know every need physically that he's dealing with, and we're just asking you, Lord, to work there as well. 
just protect Abigail and her travels and give her wisdom, direction, and guidance and touch her sister as well, we pray, and we'll thank you. Be with Rosie's mom. Lord, you know all about this situation, and we just lay it all before <coughs> you. We don't know where her mother is spiritually, so we just ask, oh God, that in the midst of all of this illness and pain, that you'll make yourself very real to her. And may she make a total commitment of her life to you if she hasn't already. Thank you, Lord, for ministering there. And Lord, we just continue to remember the English family. Just touch Bev and Sam. Strengthen them. You know what's going on in the family. The turmoil, the stress that they're facing. And Jody's chemo starting. And, and you know what all that involves too. So we're just asking God that you would minister. We're just trusting you, Lord, to meet <coughs> Jody and work in her life physically and spiritually, and we'll thank you. We do thank you, Lord, too, for the good report regarding Keith Watson. Continue to strengthen him and bless him in the work that he's doing there at the bookstore. Yes. Lord, we want to remember Joel Graham traveling back to Russia tomorrow. You know all about the ministry that he's in. And we pray, Lord, that you would use them in a very special way. Give them traveling mercies and protection on their journey back. And we'll just thank you. And we'll certainly praise you for it. Lord, we think of this Jerry and this other girl, the Cardinal girl, yes. that Pastor Jeff has been working <coughs> with. We believe, Lord, that you're working in both of these lives. Not by chance that Jerry was there to hear the story about the Cardinal. And so, Lord, we're just so thankful that you're helping and working in his life. And Lord, Bring back to his memories all these things that are happening to show him that truly, Lord, you do are, exist yes. and you care for him. Oh God, we're praying and believing for a full commitment of his life to you and minister also in this cardinal girl's life as well. Just bring about your Nina. She goes to church with her grandmother Oh God, may she hear the gospel message clearly and make that full, unconditional surrender to you. And we'll thank you. We'll certainly praise you. Lord, this day we place in your hands, you know all about the decisions that are going to be made regarding our President Trump, former President Trump. And we ask, oh God, that you will work in this situation. You can cause them to not allow it to happen. We know you're Jeez. able. Mm -hmm. But regardless, we're laying it all in your hands and thanking you, Lord, for ministering and working and moving in this situation. Oh God, our country needs you. There's so much turmoil, so much anger, so much confusion. And oh Lord, we're just asking you to break through. In the darkness that is about us, we pray, Lord, that your light will shine. And may your Christians stand out strong and bold regardless of the persecution that they're going to take because of their stand for Christ. Work in our country. Bring revival, we pray. Minister with our, our leaders, our, from our president, vice president, governor, and all right down. Just minister, O oh Lord, and break through. Bring us, Lord, to a glorious victory. And we're going to thank you in Jesus' name. Father, well, just thank you again that we could come together. And I just want to praise you, Lord, today for the divine appointments that Pastor spoke about. And yes. Just thank you for that, Lord. And I pray that you will just even help us at times we have divine appointments. Mm -hmm. We don't yeah. take yes. the opportunity to share. But just help us, Father, yes. in this, that our lives will be 
shining examples to that dark, dark world in which we live. Father, uh, I would also lift up, again, Joel Graham as he goes back to Russia. Yes. I pray it would keep him safe, and I pray that it would just continue to bless the ministry that he yes. and his wife have there, yes, and the outreaches they have uh, in, in the city, and, the, and then the summertime in the villages. And, mm. and I pray, Father, uh, just thank you that he was able to renew his passport in a timely manner and get back, and I just would pray that, uh, Lord, there's other Christians, there's, we know there's many Christians throughout Russia that are really suffering over this uh, war with Ukraine and they're really against it and um, yet we know Lord that, that war is still going on and I pray God that you would just intervene in yes. in a special way Lord mm -hmm. and just be with the Christians in, in both sides Lord and, yes. uh, and I think of the children that are mm -hmm. uh, suffering had to be uh, taken out of the country and so many of them went over to Hungary and I pray Father that uh, you will just be with them as they're displaced. Lord, we just thank you, though, that the help that is coming in, many are coming to know the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior. Thank you. And I pray, Father, thank you. we'll just continue to bless that work and that ministry, yes. Lord, among those people. And I pray, Father, for um, <coughs> the work in Hungary that's uh, going on with the... Uh, Gypsy people, the Roma mm, people, mm. dear God, uh, they're looked down upon society because they're such a low class, and yet, Lord, you have a place for them, and yes. you love them, yes. and I pray that you will be with that ministry there, Father, and uh, also, Lord, I just pray that you will continue to undertake for Jonathan and his family as they're preparing to go over there in August, yes. that oh, you will right. just uh, help them as they're there in Albania. <coughs> Minister, Lord, you, uh, through the work that they will be doing, we just praise you, dear God. And uh, Father, I just thank you for allowing us to have the um, Bible study out of curses with uh, Michelle yes. and her daughter. Mm -hmm. And dear God, I just pray that uh, their hearts will be open yes. to your word. And I uh, know that. Uh, Michelle's going through many difficulties right now, and she's asked prayer, and Lord, we just want to uplift her and her family that uh, you would help them, dear God, and that, that through helping them that they will see what a great God you are and mm -hmm. turn to you, Lord, for that help that they need. Yes. Um, Lord, as we uh, heard about <clears throat> the country of Austria, mm -hmm. and uh, we see what a beautiful country that you made, that all the people have to do is look up into the hills and mm, yes. the mountains and see your glory displayed there. Yeah. But instead, Father, they're turning to other things. Mm. And I pray that you will be with the Christians there, Lord, that yes. you will just help them and motivate them. But also, Lord, you have to be at work with the Holy Spirit turning mm. the hearts of the people yes. back to you. Oh, and I would ask, Lord, that you would work in this way at this yes. time, Father. Yes. In this country, it's been brought to our attention. Yes. And uh, Lord, we just are going to trust you to uh, work. We, when we think about the occult and these other religious, fake religious things yes. coming into the country, mm -hmm. that again, you will just renew the church movement, mm -hmm. that yes. uh, people will come to know Jesus Christ as their Savior, just bless and help in many ways. Mm -hmm. Father, I just thank you for um, the, <clears throat> the witness at um, that Ted has with his yes. co-workers. Mm -hmm. Dear God, just continue to use him in that unique way, Lord, as he uh, passes out tracts and as he speaks to people about their need for Jesus. Um, I pray God for Angela that she would get the support that she needs how yes. anxious she is to go back there to uh, Greece and I would ask for her that you would just bless her father and help the Christians to get her back there where uh, <coughs> she will be 
reaching many people for Christ. Yes. Dear God, I pray for Rachel and Bart down there in Pittsburgh and the Crescent Project and the for new Muslim converts and the, yeah. the outreaches they have. Father, we would pray that there is a mission field right within our borders. And uh, mm -hmm. I pray, Father, that you would work through them and work through each one of us, Lord, as, as you see fit and use us for your service. Just want to say thank you and praise you in your name. Yes. We continue in prayer, Lord. Thanks to you for the privilege you have to come to you. Let me just uh, pray for uh, Dan and Lois's granddaughter, Kasi, the various uh, problems that uh, she's uh, facing and uh, dealing with. Help and intervention in this uh, matter of these matters that you would uh, give her uh, restoration and uh, relief uh, uh, from uh, any involvement uh, that is uh, uh, not true and right and proper, Lord, that, mm -hmm. uh, that you might um, just uh, work in the other way there, Lord, we thank you for uh, her. Desire to live for you. We pray that you might continue to trust and uh, love and remember the <coughs> Lord. And uh, just uh, thank you for uh, Lois and her uh, uh, faithfulness and uh, living and serving you, Lord. And, uh, we pray for Dick Barringer his husband Virgil and uh, that he might uh, be healed from his respiratory and kidney problems or we don't know his spiritual condition he's asked but <coughs> he would uh, just uh, be very close to him draw him uh, closer to yourself yes. Lord, yes. And trust and faith and reliance and, and confidence that uh, you, you uh, uh, will care pray for the, these young folks mm -hmm. uh, come along and uh, from memory and, and yes. Dakota and Landon and uh, Evan um, yes. for Dora and Claire and Cameron uh, pray for these uh, young people yes. Lord as they uh, really seeking you and uh, want to Follow you, and we just pray for their parents too, Lord, that uh, you would reach them, maybe yes. through their children. Yes. And however, yes. Lord, we have a desire there that you would draw uh, each one unto yourself, Lord. And we pray may they just be released from the bondage of sin and uh, yes. trust you as their Lord and Savior. Avengers as they continue plans for the coastal recognitions. Uh, we pray to help in every aspect of that. Continue to work in their lives in preparation and in, in, in all the plans that are necessary uh, to the Lord. And um, we just um, thank you for them and for the uh, desire there to serve you and witness for you, make you know more and to the others, needy people in the world. Um, we pray for the pregnancy center and for Kendra, she uh, leads in that. We pray that uh, you will strengthen her and guide her each day. Uh, may uh, you uh, give her much wisdom and leadership to yes. uh, so direct and counsel uh, those who would come Lord that uh, they might be drawn uh, 
to to you and uh, to your desires as well, Lord, and uh, follow you. We just thank you for that witness and testimony. Um, we do pray for the um, disturbing international situations uh, that are developing with China, Russia, and uh, Iran. Lord, I uh, just pray that uh, you would uh, help in these situations as well as the one in North Korea. It seems like uh, the, there are certain ones that just seem bent on making a disturbance and even threatening uh, with uh, nuclear uh, attacks. And, and this, uh, uh, this is seems like uh, very irrational and <laughs> upsetting, but I guess, Lord, we, we just see that you can change the hearts of even these kind of people. We know that uh, they seem to be uh, raised up in every, every generation, and Lord, we just ask for your, your help that uh, they might um, recognize the, the sensibility of um, peaceful solutions that uh, might be guided toward that. Uh, uh, Lord, we, we just, that's our desire. We ask you, Lord, whatever it pleases and honors you and what your desire is and plan is and all might certainly be uppermost in, yes. in our minds and, and in their desires, Lord. Uh, um, we pray for those who are still uh, recovering from earthquake uh, difficulties in Turkey and Syria, Lord, and uh, uh, the situation of uh, homelessness and uh, food shortages and uh, all that's involved, Lord, in their lives and the lives of refugees of, of Ukraine and uh, those who are just uh, hanging on day by day, Lord. We just pray that you would provide needs and that you would uh, multiply the efforts of uh, those believers who would seek to uh, draw them unto yourself in spite of whatever situation they're in, that they might be prepared for uh, life and eternity, Lord, and just uh, may, may you be um, there all in all. They can lean on and trust and rely in and, uh, and uh, serve and worship for and we just yes. to thank you for the Christ. Lord, we, <coughs> Lord, we are <coughs> thankful for your goodness, for your loving kindness, uh, for your mercies, Lord, and uh, that uh, we can come to you and uh, seek forgiveness and confess our sins, Lord, knowing that you uh, offer forgiveness and you strengthen us and you purify us and you bring us into your family through faith in Jesus, Lord. And uh, we thank you for that, Lord God, and thank you that you don't treat us as our sins deserve, and thank you that you uh, don't uh, you don't hold our sins against us and. You deliver us from the penalty and punishment of our sins, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for all you accomplished at Calvary, Lord Jesus, and shed your blood uh, for our forgiveness. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you for your steadfast love and faithfulness, Lord. We thank you for all your paths of holiness and righteousness uh, towards us, Lord. And we thank you. We praise you, Lord God. Thank you that you strengthen us and you direct us and you guide us and thank you for your Holy Spirit that uh, brings uh, conversion of, of from death to life and guides us and, and, and convicts us of our need for you Lord and sheds abroad uh, your love in our hearts Lord so we thank you for all of these things all the ways that you're involved in our lives and uh, Lord thank you for those whom uh, you've uh, blessed us to come in contact with and to talk with about your uh, kingdom principles and 
eternity and how you <coughs> work in lives and are working in lives, Lord, to open people's minds and hearts to their need for you and, and, and making them sensitive to your presence and involvement in their lives, Lord. And we uh, just so thank you. Thank you so very much, Lord. Um, Lord, I pray uh, for uh, the Christians at Home Depot and the Beagle Medical Center, A6 Acres, uh, Flicks, uh, Salt Painting, Walmart, uh, Leech Carbide, Canfield Electric, uh, Channel Locks, uh, and other other uh, other places of employment where Christians are, are living and serving and and uh, living their Christian life in front of others. Lord, we just pray that you would continue to bless uh, conversations to be open and directed towards uh, spiritual things and matters of eternity. Lord, and we pray that uh, every Christian would be. Uh, would receive your courage, Lord, and would be clothed with uh, with your Spirit from on high, Lord, to uh, to be a witness for Jesus and point others to you to return. Uh, Lord, we uh, we are thankful. Lord, we think of the uh, National Day of Prayer that's coming up. We think of Vacation Bible School plans that are in act at, in uh, in ongoing now and. Plans for Light in Bethlehem and uh, preparation for our bicycle clinic um, and uh, lots of other uh, outreach and things. Lord, we, uh, we ask, Lord, that you just be uh, uh, preparing us to, to be uh, uh, witnesses for Christ and for the block parties uh, coming up this summer and a variety of things, Lord, that we are uh, seeking to do to connect with other people that we might connect them to Jesus. And, we ask you to lead us in the right paths of outreach, Lord, and the right paths whereby we can meet people and provide opportunities to point them to you. Yes, um, we're excited about it. We thank you for it, Lord. Thank you for release time, Lord. We pray for our uh, spaghetti dinner fundraiser tomorrow night, Lord. We pray you'd be pleased to bring many people there to celebrate uh, your work through release time and to bring support um, and uh, for our end of the year party on Friday, Lord, help us to bring the families out, bring moms and dads out, the guardians, Lord, so we can meet and connect with them, Lord, as well, and uh, have a good uh, a final ending to this year's, uh, this school year's release time, and we thank you for that, Lord, we thank you for a great year, and for the students, and the uh, unusual uh, understanding and maturity that you've given many of them, Lord, in the faith. And we'll thank you, Lord. We certainly want to remember Ray and Patsy Slosher and continue to bless them and protect them from falling and protect their health and strength and open their hearts to you, Lord. And particularly uh, Ray, continue to open his heart to believe completely in the Lord Jesus. And mm -hmm. We pray for Ruth and pray you encourage us. Continue to encourage her and strengthen her, Lord, protect her from some of the potential uh, medical problems that she's concerned with and I pray you'd uh, bless her with a sense of safety to come back to be with the church family again soon. And we pray for Betty, uh, Lord, and uh, for her neck and her shoulder pain and for her congestive heart problems and uh, Lord, we pray you would continue to sustain and strengthen her, Lord, and, and uh, yet thank you for her uh, love for you and yes. love for your word and assurance that uh, she's waiting for you to take her home, Lord, and uh, it's an awesome thing, and we thank you for that, and uh, continue to bless her and have a sense of your presence as yes. well as sharing, Lord, of, of your presence Amen. and purpose in all of this, and uh, strengthen their faith, Lord. We love you, Lord, and uh, just want our lives to show it in every way, and continue to bless and encourage Brother Sam and Bev and with their daughter Jody and, and uh, her uh, chemotherapy and for Debbie, uh, her need for you, Lord. We just pray you be working in her life uh, as well. Thank you for your goodness, and we ask you to be glorified in all that we do for your name's sake, Lord. And it's in your name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Well, again, thank you all for uh, joining us and uh, that you could be part of the prayer and Bible uh, hour together. 
And uh, please remember that uh, if you have a prayer need, that we would like to encourage you to reply to this email. And just let us let us know how we can be praying for you and your situation, whatever it is. And we'd love to see some of you at church uh, that maybe haven't been there for a while. Uh, that will be uh, this Sunday. Our worship service is at 1030, and we hope to see you there. But if not, then we look forward to meeting together again next Wednesday for our prayer and Bible hour. So God blessings to all of you in Christ. <laughs>